Nambia Mungu usikubali nikufe mbele ya bezi. <laughs> Inataka mtaili. Mimi sitaka na ile iko kwa nyumba. Mtu mwenye haja katwa. Eh eh. Yeah. Mama yake akanipata. Nikamuuliza mama, hata huyu mtoto mrembo eh nyinyi wote. Lakini mimi naambia Mungu asante. Iko watu wanavulisanga. Hata wapate mtoto tu. Mm -hmm. eh? Wapate mtoto kama huyu tu. Naambia Mungu, mimi Mungu sikukosea. Sikukosea ndio nipate mtoto kama huyu Kavira. You know sometimes I sit down and I just wonder why would I born in this family but I say it's God favor. Maybe he make me to born in this family to help them. Hills tell stories and behind these particular ones lies a story of a woman and her five children. One of whom is a person living with disabilities. This lady walked out of her marriage because her husband joined a cult then came back making atrocious demands on her or choose to walk out of her marriage. Guess what she did? Well, welcome to today's episode of my story. My name is Yvonne Kawera and this is Grace's story. Kwa majina naitwa Grace Wavelo. Nimetoka Gilgil, huko ndio nimesaliwa. Nikalelewa huko, nikasomea huko. Sikuweza kusoma sana, nilifika study 4. Mhm. Mm kwa sababu mimi ndio mkubwa mkubwa kwa familia watu wangu eh kwa saba watoto saba mhm mm nienda kwa nyanya tukakaa naye tukakaa naye mpaka mm -hmm. huko ndio nikapata mtoto ya kwanza ni msichana mhm mm nikakaa nikakaa msichana akiwa na miezi tisa nikapata mse wa kunioa nilikutana naye huko Eldoret mhm mm Eldoret okay. kwa ndio tulikutana naye na ulikuwa ukifanya kazi huko Eldoret ah alikuwa ah, nakaa kwa nyanya tu nyanya eh nyanya kama yeye amenilea oh Mm. mama kwa wapi? Alikuwa gili gili. Okay. Mm. Alipoaga umkabaki. Hmm? Alipoaga eh. umkabaki na shushu. Eh. Mm. Mungu kanijarisha na, na mtoto ya kijana. Nikajifungua. Mm -hmm. Tukakaa, tukaenda kwao akaruji akajulisha wasasi yake. Amenioa tukakaa tena kwa rudi Dorothy. Tena nikajarisha na msichana. Huyo msichana kufikisha miezi tisa akagonjeka. Mm. Akakataa kwanza kukua. Nikasindwa nini mbaya? Hizo ndio zilikuwa sense za kwanza. Eh kukataa kukua. Mm. Asa, nikulia 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 nikulia. Nikaenda rifalo. Mm. Daktari mmoja akamwangalia akampima akampima akaniambia hebu nimpime hii kichwa kwa sababu ilikifika mahali kichwa mm. unafinya hivi na kama inakaa kama nini ndise nyeme hiva. Inaingia tu inaingia tu. Sasa ndio wakachukua foot walimpima hivi. Wakaniambia hii kichwa inakuwa. Wow. Sasa kwa sababu atamacha sasa ilianza kwanza nini kwenda nini ndani. Mm. Wakaniambia hii kichwa inakuwa. Wakanituma Kenya hata. Mm -hmm. Nikaenda nikaambia mse, mimi nimetumwa nini? Nimetumwa Kenya hata. Tu kuwa na pesa, tukakaa karibu miezi mbili sasa. Tuko na yetu. Sasa kichwa imekuwa. Eh? Unaona mtoto anatosa na hivi, lakini kichwa. Na bila, lazima uwekelee hapa. Wow. Tukapata pesa, tukaenda Kenyata. Mm. Ye tuenda Kenyata, mtoto, nikaenda karibu miasi itano. Kuenda, kilini, kuenda, kilini, kuenda, kilini, kuenda. Sasa nye vile nienda mwesi watano, ndio daktari ya likuja. Mm. Haka niulisa Grace, eh, umetoka. Tulikuwa mama wengi. Grace, umetoka wapi? Nikambe ni umetoka edori. Haka niangali, ya likuwa mjaru. Haka mm. cheka. Mm. Nao wengine niliwapata huko tu, na wajai tibiwa. Haka chukua kadi yangu. Haka enda kama anija pepeta na hivi. Akaniambia Grace kuanzia saa hii huyo mtoto yako usinyonyese. Ataenda theater mm -hmm. kesho asubuhi. Na ukimnyonyesa anarudi. Na wende pale chini kwa mm -hmm. sapimo damu. Kama ana damu unarudi naye nyumbani. Oh. Mimi nikaenda kwa madaktari nikawaambia. Waliniangalia hivyo kaniambia, "Kwani mnajua na udaktari?" Nikamwambia, "Hapana." Mm -hmm. Nikamusa kwa nini? Mestrano amechukuliwa. Mwingine akamwambia wacha kusema hivyo inaonekana umama amelala akiomba Mungu wake ameomba ameomba anaambia sawa kanileta hiyo mtoto nikampatia mtoto wakampima wakaniambia kuna damu ya wakona damu ya kutosa mhm mm waliniambia kuna damu ya kutosa wakaniambia by saa tatu ya usiku atapelekwa dhiota na no, ukimnyonyesa au fanye nini akienda dungo sidano atabike unarudi na yeye Sami nikakaa na mtoto tu, nikakaa na mtoto. Baisa tatu ya usiku, wakakujia wakamufanisa ima nguo, wakampeteka dieta. Mm. Dieta wakanembe manunuwa mpira, yiko mpira mtu wananunuanga. Njua fali eh, kuondani, kambia ye, eh, nikawaoneza. Wakanembe mpira yiko sawa. 
kaniambia sawa nikampatia mpira akapeleka kwa theater mtoto akatengenezwa mm. nikakaa kinyata nilikaa siku tatu kuangalio kuangalio nikaambia sawa nikarudi nyumbani nikapewa kliniki ya kiamwesi na murudisa na murudisa na murudisa niangalie pipe nilikuwa bado dolet okay ndio angalie mpira nikaambia mm -hmm. nikiwa nafinya nini nikiwa nafinya mpira kwa sababu nikikataa kufinya ikinini ikloa eh nitarudi tena sasa mimi kasi ilikuwa kufinya tu kufinya tu kurudi hiyo mwezi kitu ilikuwa imeanza nini kurudi eh kwa sababu sasa ilikuwa na kojo uchafu uchafu ilikuwa na kojo kama makojo au kududu nikarudi wakaniambia kila mwezi kila mwezi kila mwezi mimi nikarudi 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 ikafika mahali sasa hivi mwana kwa kabisa okay. kabisa mm. nikafika mahali nikapata mimba tena ya msichana nikaka kaniambia kwa nimepata mimba haraka hivi sana ngamia ningefanya nini akaniambia mm. sawa ni maneno ya Mungu tu nikasaka kutoka mm. na kasichana na nilikuwa natetemeka hivi nyavira unjua yana kama umesaa mtoto kilema tena usike mimba mbona nata kama utasaa kama huyo mimi ni vile nijifungua nikaka nilikuwa naambia Mungu kai sasa ingine nijifungue mtoto kama huyo wake nilikaa mtoto akakuwa mkubwa mm. nikajifungua tena na hakuwa na shida nani hakuwa na shida hata okay. siku ya classes mwaka wa classes ilikuwa 90 sikumbuki 27 nikaenda na watoto yangu mpaka huyu tukaenda tukakaa tukakaa na alikuwa anakuja mzuri kabisa kila mwezi alikuwa anakuja kila mwezi alikuwa anakuja sasa akakuja tena nikapata mimba nyavira eh hey. ya mapacha we wa watoto wadogo mapacha nikajifungua mzuri tu bedi ni mgonjwa tu hivi tunaenda tu bado nangana na yeye tu na huko ukifanya kazi yote mm -mm. alikuwa ananiangalia mzuri tu Okay. Kuka akaa ndiye akakuja. Akaanza kufika miezi tatu, akuji miezi 4, akakuji na mpigia simu. Anaambia sina kutumia pesa. Mm -hmm. Akaambia sawa, kuna sida hiyo ndio umeona. Hivyo ndio ulikuwa tumeongea. Hakuna mm -hmm. sida. Kana kuna kitu na mama yake. Eh na mama yake tu. Na acha ni kuambia kuna kitu mbaya kama kukaa na manzina hilo. Ni nini ulipitia ikasema ukafanya conclude hivyo? Mimi ndio nilikuwa na mimba. Sasa tulikuwa tunakaa na bedi. Alikuwa anasema wao wasawangi wasangi vivyoete. Eh. <laughs> Nikamwambia hata kwetu msahangi viwete. Na so, bedi sio kiwete. Bedi nilimsa akiwa mtoto mzuri. Na niwaambia mamu, mm. usinite mamu, nikaambia sawa, hakuna sida. Ah. Mama nganga, ukienda Kenyata ndio utajua. Nikaambia watu wanakuja wakiwa wazima. Unaona wa mama wanalia tu. Mm. Na akaniambia sasa ikujua kwetu tuzoangi viwete. Nikaambia sawa. So alikwambia pia usimuite mamu. Eh, nikakaa tu. Mimi nilikuwa nikitoka nje bedi anatoka nje. Tunakaa na hapo. Tunatafika kaguni hapo na rara hapo. Cha nikwambia nyawira. Mm. Siku moja alikuja na machungwa. Kama nimerara hapo. Akaniambia nimekuja, nikaambia nimefanya mzuri. Kaniambia machungwa nimekuletea ukule. Mimi nikamwangalia tu. Bedi huyu mtoto mwenye anamuona hapa, wacha tu. Nikasema, "Huwa simpe sumu." Mungu amempea kile kingine. Mm. Nikasema, "Huyu ndio nitampe." Nikampatia machungwa. Nijue. Huyo mtoto alinusa hiyo machungwa hivi. Sai, hata sinakwambia sipe wacha kuna mtu mwingine. Alinusa hivi machungwa, alipiga nduru akainusa. What? Akaitupa mbali sana. Nikasindo nini? Nikaamka tena nikaenda. Nikakuja na nyuma machungwa nikampea. Alinama hivi inama kabisa kama anapiga nduru akuchukua machungwa nikachukua nikatupa cho so mama, mama hakujua umekula hakujua akakuja kaniambia eh hey, mmelala tu eh machungwa umekula eh nimeka eh hey, tulikula machungwa na nimesema sana ubarikiwe mm -hmm. akasema asante na anaenda na muona pale kwa samba na nichungulia tu nikanyamasa eh hey, kama nikanyamasa iko iko ikafika siku ya kuchivungua mimba ile nisumbua si kujifungua kama kawaida nikapigia mamu simu nikamwambia mimi msia kujangi na ameanza kuniwaachilia nimeenda kilini kinimwambia watoto wamekaa vibaya walikuwa wanasema mtoto mtoto amekaa vibaya huko unajua kuna twins eh wasijifungua mzuri hasa kanimbe utafanya nini nikamwambia mimi sina pesa nikampigia mse nikamwambia nimeambiwa niende na ifasa niende nifanywe nini operation eh akaniambia ana pesa nikamwambia sasa nitafanya nini hasa akaniambia yeye amesindwa atafanya nini atafanya nini nikampigia simu nikamwambia mimi naona hali yangu sio mzuri aliniambia unataka nipepee kama ndege nikuje nipeleke hospitali nikanyamasa nikamwambia hapana wewe usipepee kama ndege wacha tu mimi nikakuja gili gili tukwa tukakutana na mama wakanipeleka na kuru nikaenda nikafanywa operation mm. watoto niwa vijana wangapi 
fenye na mbili mm-hmm. nikajifungua nikakaa nikakaa sasa mama kaniambia saya nimewacha bedi huyu mtoto mlemavu na huyu kijana nikana nikafanywa pale so mm-hmm. nikaenda mama kaniambia sasa utarudi wapi nikamwambia mimi kwa sababu ya mtoto wangu wacha nirudi nyumba nyumbani akaniambia hapana urudi nyumbani tunaenda nyumbani sasa kwetu mali nimezaliwa nikamwambia na mtoto akaniambia msitaki kujua wacha wakae na watoto yao huko okay. na ila tukaenda kwetu kidi kidi nilikaa mwezi mmoja msa yangu akapigia simu na mama akaambia nitakaje na hii family yako mm. akasema nakuja sawa alikuja alitoka dot mpaka huko akakuja giri giri mama akamwambia sasa kwa sababu wasasi wako hajakujia huyu unatakaje akajiomba kabisa akanyenyekea akaambia wachana hao wewe nipatie family yangu nenda niwaangali niwaangalie mama akamwambia sawa akaambia sasa sitakupatia nitakupeleka mpaka nyumbani cha ni kuambia nyawira mm-hmm. siku yu mtoto wangu aliniona hata mama alilia karibu aamke asimame ndule nyalipika nikufurahi karibu aamke nili vya furahi mm-hmm. mimi nikaingia na mama akaingia msee tukaka akarudi akaniambia sitarudi kukaa mwezi nakuja mwezi nakuja na alifanya hivyo nyawira mm-hmm. akakuwa nakuja akakuwa nakuja alifika mahali au mapacha wangu wakiwa na miezi ngapi walikuwa wamefikiza mwaka mm-hmm sasa akuji anafikia sio sasa ndio nione kabisa amekata kuja alikuwa anafikia miezi sita yeah. akuji na ukimpigia simu achukui grace kwa sababu siku alinipia aliniambia usiniwai nipigie simu yangu usiku aliniambia hivi allah ati usiyai nipigie simu yangu usiku na wewe ni bwana kwa nakwambia eh nikaambia sawa mimi nikaka nyawera masida iko ndio nilifikisa mwaka na nusu sida sasa sina chakula si mm-hmm. sina nini unsana yangu alikuwa form 1 sasa nikamwambia vile iko sasa wewe utakuwa na wacha kwenda shule masa nyingine unawacha una hii na hawa mapacha na kijana naye alikuwa form 3 sasa tunachukua tunachukua na kijana tunaenda kulemia na huyu naye baki na nini na watoto mapacha tunaenda nyaada tulifanya kazi tulifanya kazi tulifanya kazi tulifanya kazi ah mpaka nikaona mimi hapana nikamwambia hasa wewe kuja niambie vile unaniambia aninipigia simu na kuja na mambo yenye nakuja naye kama hautakubali urudi kwenye Allah nikamwambia mambo gani mimi sitaka na ile iko kwa nyumba ile iko na kisoni kusema nini hata uwezi jua but why i'm sure watu don't understand <laughs> yes yeah? nikamwambia ati msema aje kaambia ninakuja na jamamosi ninakuja kaambia so this is like mtu mwenye haja katwa eh eh sasa mimi kidogo sijui na kisoni kusema nini nikamwambia sawa na kiswahili sijui kusema nikaambia sawa alikuja siku ya Jumamosi. Vile alikuja akaingia, kaniambia uko tu wewe watoto sina mimi sinaona. Mm. Tukafika siku saa ya kwenda kulala. Kaniambia unajuaje? Eh, mimi nataka mtaili. Wewe. He? Nikaambia tasokera ringi. Yeah. Ebu rudia tena. Mm. Nikaambia kaniambia nataka mtaili. Mimi kwangu sitakaa na ile ego. Au inguki. Aitumbia mambo mbili ile ego kana ingoki nikamwambia wacha mimi hata huyu mmoja hey. akaniambia eh hey, hata sangine ndiye aligonjeka nataka nitawapeleka mahali hi hey. nikamwambia pana nisitaweza kabisa kabisa mm. kabisa akaenda kwao kwa wametaeli akaenda akaambia mama yake akaambia mimi nataka afanye hivi na hivi nataka ataeli mm. na amekata mama yake akanipata akaniambia yeye eh, hata mimi nilikuwa nasindwa kijana yangu aliwa mtu mwenye hajataidi namna gani ah. basi mtae hiyo ni kitu kidogo sana nikamuuliza mama hata huyu mtoto mle mafu eh nyinyi wote nyinyi wote hata mimi jina yangu siwezi kaa bila sijataidi what nikamwambia sawa kuna sita nikapigia mama simu nikamwambia mama kumeenda hii na hii mm. mama kaniambia ati Yo mambo iliwacho kabisa usikubali usikubali kabisa usikubali nikamwambia hata siwezi nikamwambia sana nitafanya nini akaniambia yani akikusindikiza sana uende ukatai na ukatai uniite nikamwambia mimi siendi na siendi na siendi akaniambia basi nimekuambia ufunge vidako uende kwenye nikamwambia siendi sikuenda akaniambia sawa nimerudi i don't ukae huko ukujua nyo na ujua nyo utakuwa na kula nimekuacha na karude dolet mimi ni wacha na watoto mm. nikalimia tukafanya vibarua tukafanya vibarua huyu msichana yangu aliwachia form 2 akienda form 
akanembe sambali mefika ah kumetesa kabisa na hata watu wasa watu 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 wako waje kunisana nini kuniingilia eh hata tujui kijana yeye tu tuona mtoto mume mrefu wapi amekwambia utairi umekataa na nikitigidoko sana hata hata babamu yako imeharibika nikamwambia sana mimi nikapigia nyanya simu nikamwambia akaniambia fanya hivi kwa sababu niliambia mamu nikuje nyumbani mamu akakata akaniambia weka hivi ka huko usikubali ka huko mm. mama nikamwambia mamu mateso imefika mwisho nikamwambia nyaera hata iko siku nilikuwa nimenunua dawa ya munanda kijinika eh kijanangu mkubwa akakuta kama nimesika dawa akaniambia mamu nini unataka kufanya nikamwambia bana mimi nimefika mwisho na mimi mimi siwapei dawa mimi mimi ni mimi na mtoto mule mafu siwezi kwa sababu simwachi siwezi muachia mtu. Akaniambia para mamu utafanya hivyo. Kaninyang'anya dawa. Akaniambia mamu si unajua Mungu wako. Nikaambia kabisa mimi najua Mungu wako lakini nimefika mm. mu. Akaniambia mamu ni sahi unaona tukiwa wadogo hivi tu lakini tukiwa wakubwa tutakusimamia pamoja na dada yangu wewe usijali. Nikaambia mimi samani nimefika kijana yangu mimi nimeona nitoke huko. Wacha niende kwa nya kwa nyanya kikope kaambia hivyo ndio meamua nikaambia akaambia sawa acha mimi nikae huku nifanye form 4 akaambia sawa mimi nikatoka huko nyawera nikatoka mimi mm-hmm. na huyu msichana na huyu na watoto mapacha na huyu kijana mimi nikaenda mpaka nyumbani si hata si kuenda huko nenda mpaka nyumbani nilisema ndaenda nyumbani mama akitaka nifukuse nifukuse mm-hmm. kaenda mpaka kwetu nikakaa 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 hiyo nilikaa mama kaanza tumadhau akaniambia hii sasa hata watu wanakuja wanapata mtoto mnemafu ninaenda group nasikia wakiongea Ah mm. wewe fanya hivi rudi kwako. Wewe kaambia ni rudi kwangu wewe. Kwa sababu atafikiri najua iko siku ilifika. Mama alikuwa ananiambia tufungie. Nani mama yako kukusanya wewe? Kawera. Tulikuwa tunafungia tunafungia mtoto wangu ka nyumba tu tukienda kulima. Mm. Siku moja nika tukamfungia tukaenda kulima. Wata siafu ikuje. Mm kwa sababu mama mama wa mama wa marafiki yake wanakuja wanamkuta mm-hmm. ataki ya hiyo. Wacha siafu ikuje. Nilikuta mtoto amekuliwa na siafu. Oh, yeah. Na nisikia tu kama kidhamiri mimi ni kunywa maji. Nilikuta mtoto amekuliwa na siafu nikaenda nikamtoa. Nikaambia mama, nimekuta mtoto amekuliwa na siafu. Hiyo nyumba mama, hii mali tuko tumemweka ilikuwa siafu. Nikamwambia sasa tutafanya nini? Nikamwambia sasa mimi mimi sijui. Nikamwambia mimi nimerudi kwangu akaniambia mm-hmm. sawa rudi. Mimi sikurudi kwangu nikaenda kwa nyanya tukakaa na nyanya tukakaa na nyanya tukakaa na nyanya mtoto iko siku alikonjeka huyu mtoto huyu mumrafu mtu mm. akakonjeka lakini walimtibu haraka nikapigia ma nikaambia tumelaswa na mtoto iko hivi na hivi aniambia hana pesa jua vile tutafanya mimi sina pesa yani vile marriage ilisha aliacha kukusapot hata kidogo akaniambia mimi sina pesa jua vile tutafanya mimi nikakaa nikakaa wacha nikwambie daktari mmoja ndiye alikuja akaniambia grace ni unafanya kwa ordinary pay rusa mm. nikamwambia mimi nilipea rusa lakini sina pesa. Huyu aliniangalia hivi. Akaniambia na wasasi mimi siku mficha nikamwambia vile iko yote. Mm. Aliniangalia hivi akaniambia ni pesa ngapi? Nikamwambia ni miambio ni 7000 na karibu 8000. Mm. Kaniambia sawa acha tu tukuja. Acha nikwambie kawaida hiyo hiyo daktari alikuja na receipt. Kaniambia ndio hii sit. Wewe toka. Nimeripia mtoto hospitali wewe enda nikaita soso soso akakuja akani tukalipa gari tukarudi nyumbani kurudi nyumbani mama akaniambia uko tu eh sawa soso akanimwambia unaweza kufanya hivyo kabisa na mtoto ni wako kaambia mimi sina pesa mm. tukakaa kwa soso tukakaa kwa soso mama akakufa si mama amekufa na alikufa kama mko in good terms mm tukakufa nilisema sawa kwa sababu mama amekufa acha nirudi nyumbani mm. nikarudi nyumbani mimi mama aliolewa na mimi kamali wewe nani nikakaa nikakaa tena baba akaanza madharao hivi na hivi sijui nini nataka kuoa utakataa saa e, mtoto ni aibu ah mm. mta nikarudi kwa soso kawira nikarudi kwa soso mm. tukakaa na soso soso kufika mesi waliwacha na mama na mesi tatu soso akakufa nikawacha huko kwa hiyo boma mm, na watoto ikope na kiko eh, na watoto nikakaa nikakaa wacha mjomba waanze madharao wanakuja akiwa walevi mm. mambo atasiwezi eh, kawira wanafanya nini? Wanataka walai na mimi kia nguvu. Na ni mjomba. Nikwambia hapana. So huyu ni brother ya nani? Ya mama. Brother ya mama. Na ni mmoja ama wako wengi? Wa asa mmoja alikuwa anataka ni mmoja. 
Ha wengine wata mkataza. So wako wa dole tasa likuwa nakuja tu. So walikuwa nakuja na kutoko anajua uko peke yako. Yes, anajua ni peke yako na watu watu. Hakuna mtu atakupigania. Eh, hakuna ata. Nikaambia apana. What? Ikuwa mama tulikuwa urafiki sana na ye. Kwa sababu hata nikikosa chakura likuwa na nipeanga. Hmm. Sasa mtoto ya ui mama. Anaito wa masiru. Haka niambia, mimi kambia nimefika muiso. Mimi naona hata naesa tokea pare kwa gari. Mili okay. uongo na gari na mtoto yangu. Sio mimi peke yangu na mtoto yangu. O oh, wengine wataenda chokora. Au ah, wachukuliwa wapereko chende home. Mimi nitaenda. Haka niambia pana. Haka niambia, unasa kubari kuenda katamayo. Nikambia katamayo ni wapi. Haka niambia mama yangu, ana mtu wakuka. Na mimi naesa muongelesa, muende mkai huko. Mm. Nikambia saa mimi naesa kubari. Kwa sababu ya mto mtoto ni kachukua watoto yangu. Sasa ukijana yuko kijana alikuwa form 1. Alikuwa amewacha shule kwa sababu ya school fees. Mm. Oh wengine walikuwa naenda grade 4. Hawana school fees. Nikachukua watoto ndio nikaka kuja nikaka huko. Nikapita ya msida. Huyo mtoto yangu anastahili iko dawa. Anastahili kuja kila mwezi 1000. Iko ya 1400. Iko ya 1100 na 200 kwa sababu mm -hmm. ni dosti, ni 10 na moja ni 35. Kida, siku kumi, siku kumi, siku kumi. Mm. Nyawira atayo bakti yiko hapa. Nilikosa kungua pesa. Sina pesa, sina pesa, nyawira kabisa. Na Grace, unafa kumpeleka mtoto clinic every month? Eh, nilikosa pesa. <coughs> Madada yangu, wako wana kuja kuangu. Unasema kuna nuka makonjo. Oh, yeah. Kosa umi mtoto. Mm. Lakini mina ambia mungu wa santi. Iko watu wana ulisanga. Hata wapate mtoto tu. Mm -hmm. eh? Wapate mtoto kama uju tu. Nambia mungu, mi mungu si kukosea. Si kukosea ndiyo ni bata mtoto kama uyu kawira. Ata. Na mi mtoto wangu na mpenda sana. Ima sida hote na pitanga kwa sabi mtoto yangu. Eh. Poli sana. Wacha ni kuambie kawira. Masida. Ukija na angu wanaenda fuwa mtu. Nilikosa school fees. Oh no, mapacha. Wanaenda grade 4. Ukija na mkubwa. Alifanya form 4. Mm -hmm. Akuende, akuendea nini. Tulikosa school fees ya kulipa ndia endea nini soti yake. Una ya mustiana. Alikuwa nta kuenda form 3. Na alikuwa nta kasomea u daktari. Alikuwa na niambia mimi yoto nikuambie mama. Mita soma. Mm -hmm. Baka niende daktari. Nitengenese mtoto yetu. Ha kusoma sayi ya komeid. Eh? Wacha ni kwa mbina wela. Kawela. Una sasaidia na watu wa inje kuliko watu wenye. Sayi. Hata nipigia dada angu simu hizi. Mm -hmm. Wasichukua simu. Wanasemanga ni masida na wapetu. Uyu so so. Hata tuna uko. Tawiri. Hata tuna uko. Lakini mungu tu. Halipita nyanjia tu. Mm -hmm. Nika kukuta ni kaka hapa. Wacha ni kwambi. Umu totu wangu tembea tembe yangi. Saya kuenda period. Ana angu kanga karibu maratatu. Na ndio nikuna ambiyo madawa na mpe. Ya kuzuhia. Mm, ya kuzuhia. Na chasa umpe izu e, madawa. Choo kawenda na mfungo wa makanatasi. Nairon. Ata Maria mekasa yuta enda nguone. Nime mtandikisia na ilo Maria taka. Kumfunga sina pampas. Mina funga cho yake. Lakini mimi sijai ya tisikia vibaya unini. Nasemanga mtoto ni baraka kutoka kwa mungu. Kwele. Ni baraka kutoka kwa mungu. Sasa utamini mefika nime ulisa mungu. Mungu tu. Sibuwa ni wananiona wanisaidie tu. Kavira. Nipate ata kama ni kanyumba yangu. Nifuanya ata kama ni kabia sara. Kwa sababu wata kukaa hapa, unajua hapa ni kwa nye kwa hila. Mm. Na mtu wana chokanga tu. Hata kama susu wajai kini ambia mechoka. Lakini unaona mtu tu. Awa ni watoto wa somi. Ni mapacha. Uu ni mwingine. Hmm? Anaenda form tu. Asomi. Uyo ni mwingine ya kwa maid. Hmm? <laughs> Umu tuto wangu atoke injawe. Sirasi mwani msike. Nili yanguka hapa juusi kama nime msika hapa. Mm. Nika anguka hapa ni kagongo. Ya yeah, kangu kamen wana kavira. Wow. Pole sana Grace. Mm -hmm. Unaweza kumbuka mara ya mwisho ulipeleka mtoto clinic kwa sababu umekuwa ukiambua mpeleke kila mwezi. Na sasa hizi mm -hmm. una kazi? Sina. Hapa huko tu kusaidiwa. Mm -hmm. Mara ya mwisho ulipeleka clinic ilikuwa lini? Nimekaa karibu kwa mzima kavira. Wow. Na hiyo ina maisha dawa hakuni. Mhm. -mm. Baki tia poona hii mungu yake utawana kwanzi hapa. Mm. Ilikuwa ifanyua apeleso ni ndiyo atengeneso ndiyo ikai street. Hii mungu yake imekaa hivi. Ikuwangi hapa. Mm. Mm -mm. Na sasa mm. kuzuja mpeleka kliniki ya umaka yote. Haja kunyo dawa. Saizi mm. uneza sema health yake ina improve ama inaenda wasi. Anakanga hivi yotu. Mm. 
na una saa kuanguka ndio inafanya anguke sana kuanguka mm. kuanguka mm. tangu azaliwe mm. unasema hajaitembea mm -mm. for 17 years mm -hmm. 17 hata cho matisa mm. tidima tangu karibu yote sababu kucho ni ndio la kuanga mm. ana ni period ni wewe tu mm. eh pole sana grace mm -hmm. So Grace juu umetuambia story yako. Mm. Na kwanza pole sana kwa yale ambayo umepitia. Kitu ya kwanza naweza kukomend kwa sababu ulisimama na watoto wako na ulikataa mm. wapitie kimila ambazo zitawadhuru. Mm. Unajua yo, yo, yo process hata haiko legal in Kenya. Mm. So watu ungepatikana kama wewe mama mzazi umeshirikiana na watu kufanya mambo kama hayo mm. ungekuwa mm, eh. mm. So na, na ku comment kwa sababu haukukubaliana na mambo kama hayo hata kama ili ku cost marriage yako mm, you decide mm, usimame na watoto wako. That's a good thing you're a good mom. Nilikata mm, kabisa. Mm. Mm. So sasa hizi umetuambia story yako na najua wa Kenya wakisikia story ambazo zinahitaji usaidizi wanapendanga kujua sana unataka kusaidiwa aje. Ni nini unaweza sema unataka kusaidiwa na from Kenyans? Mimi mm, from Kenya ningetaka mm -hmm. kwa sababu mtoto wangu kama ningepata msamaha ya mwema okay. atengenezo nione anatembea na miguu yake kwa sababu nitakuonesha tu atakuja hapa nitakuonesha asida ya miguu yake mm -hmm. na sasa hata nakutanga saa hii na kusa ingine nakuta anatanika kitanda hapo hata sasa nikimwambia kuja utaona anatembea na ukuta tu lakini wow. sitakani kwa sababu nasaenda nini uone fanya nini anguke mm -hmm. mimi ningetaka msamaha mwema mwenye ananiona saa hii kutengeneza mtoto pampas sina siwe sinunua ni expenses sina eh? na ni mtu tu anikomboleka nyumba yangu tu anunue vitu nifanye kazi mimi nilikuwa nafanyanga soko nilikuwa donate nilikuwa na suna kuma nguo mimi najua mm -hmm. kuusa kupiga mandasi mimi napiga anga nipate ka kitu tu hata ninasa kusaidia hata nisata nisaidie nyanya mbona yari nipe mali ya kuusa mm -hmm. mm -hmm. na watoto wangu warudi sura kwa sababu ndio kitu mimi nyaira si kusoma si kusoma ninaambia Mungu Mungu sunisaidie tu watoto wangu wasome. Sasa mm. kama wao walikuwa wanataka kwenda daktari, akusoma. Huyo mwingine mkijana ako alimaliza form 4. Bado vitu yake ya form 4 iko shule. Ah no mapacha walikuwa naenda grade 4. Hawajaenda. Huyo mwingine alikuwa naenda form 2 hata amepewa nyumba na soso. Hajaenda hata ndiye alikuwa ananiambia anataka ongee tu. Aongee kidogo tu. Mm -hmm. Arudi sure tu. Tusamleta tu. Ananiambia nataka kuwa engineer. Mm. Asaidie dada yake tu. Huyo mtoto mpaka kumchenge ana mchenjingi sasa ina nikienda kibaru nimekuta ana mchenja ni mtichana mkubwa kawili. Kitu na ni mkubwa na ana mchenje au na kama ni sida. Siku nyingine nilikuwa nimehonjeka mgongo. Ana kila kitu anaambia ni dada yake na wewe siona kama ni kitu. Sasa ingine nakuta na mchenje analia tu. Anambia sasa unalia nini? Anaambia mama baba kau hai na tunapitia haya ambia usijali Mungu wako. Sijui ndio mnaniambia Mungu wako eh hasa ukijana sengine anaenda anaenda huko anaenda kutoma maka. Ndio <laughs> at least apate kipato. Apate kibarua. Tukuta tupate chakula. Pole sana Chris. Ati nani kuna madada. Ukiwapigia simu hawezi. Haizi shika. Hata wewe sijui mali na kanga. Wajui mali na kanga kwa sababu ya mtoto yangu kilema tu hata nikwambia hata mtu akiwa mkubwa anakuwa akilema eh niliwaambia hata mtoto akiwa wananiambia mtupe hata isiko siku waliniambia walikuwa wananiambia nimeenda nitupe kijabi yeah, ati yeah. kijabi wana angeli yangu mzuri atienda ukienda hospitali umwache kwa kitanda ah yeah. anikaambia hapana eh? ni mtoto wangu ni mtoto wangu na siwezi sijui kwa nini Mungu alifanya hivyo Sijui nijaribu gani hii Mungu alinileletea siwezi na si ah nimeambia mambo mingi kwa sababu ya mtoto yangu mm. mingi eh? lakini mimi nimesema anga iko siku moja watasema kweli huu ni grace au sio grace kwa sababu Mungu wako kweli eh mm. watasema huu ni watoto wa grace au si watoto wa grace nawaambia anga hivi msijali eh? hata hata watu wakiito family mm. mimi siwezi ito hawataki mm. wajui hataki wataki hata Hmm? Grace nini nakupenga nguvu ya kuendelea kila siku? Hmm? Nini nakupatianga nguvu? Ni maombi. Naomba sana. Mimi naomba sana. Hmm? Kukuta nani kakuta naye soso ni muomba. Muomba hmm. mimi naomba na kujifunga. 
nikifika mbali nasikia nimekosa nguvu kabisa naenda nasikia mtoto yangu naomba naomba naambia Mungu kabisa wewe ndio unajua sababu nipitia haya Oi Mungu wangu wewe ndio unajua sababu niyaone hao sio kupenda kwangu ningepata ningepanda kukaa kwa boma yangu lakini Mungu wewe ulijua sababu hmm. hata nikiwa tumbo ya mama yangu ulikuwa umejua nitapitia ha Mungu ulijua tu nitapita hii hii mtiani Mungu usikubali hata siku moja shetani akuje afanye nini nishinde eh shindo kabisa usikubali hata mm -hmm. Mungu Mungu na kuomba unipe nguvu ya watoto yangu wasome enye na kuomba Mungu kabisa ni wasome na wa, u, u, yani Mungu tama ajira tu wasome was, was, wasipitie nene nimepitia wasipitie kabisa naambia Mungu na Mungu mimi na kuomba usikubali mimi ni, ni, ni usikubali nikufe mbele ya bedi Okay. Kwa sababu mtoto wangu wacha nikombi sijui anaweza fanya nini kawira. Naambia Mungu usikubali Mungu usikuwa kukuambia hata nikufe mbele ya bezi. Kwa <laughs> <laughs> sababu sijui mtoto wangu anaweza pitia mambo gani kawira. <laughs> Mimi hata nikiomba naambia Mungu tu usikubali Mungu nikufe mbele ya bezi. <laughs> usikubali kwa sababu mtoto kila kitu ni mimi anategemea kila kitu ni mimi sio cho sio nini wenye tunasaliwa nao hata wataka nikujua oi Mungu na naambia Mungu asante umenipe ngufu kama saida sija Mungu ina niuma kabisa ushukuru sana Naambia Mungu we Mungu uongeze usoso maduko mingi kwa sababu kama sio sijui ningeenda wapi kawira sijui kabisa Ole sana stress Ole Ole Grace kwa mkenye ambaye anakutazama saa hizi na angependa kuwasiliana na wewe ajue bila atakusaidia hata kama ni maombi kabisa mawazo hata kupata kwa namba gani 07 15 16 jina gani Grace Waveru Grace Waveru Grace utazungumza na mtoto wako ambaye bado hajaenda shule na pia tuta get kuona vile una interact na mtoto wako ndio but from tuko family mm. tunakutakia kila laheri na Dio. pole sana kwa ile ambayo umepitia mm. vile umesema tu wacha hiyo maombi ikuwe nguvu yako ni kweli Uamge kila siku unapata new strength mm -hmm. ya kufesi hizo challenges si ndio mm -hmm. my name is david wavero okay yes. david how old are you 16 years Older. You're 16 years old. Yes. And you are the fourth born? Yes, of my family. Okay. So, umefika what class or form? Form 1. You That's just studied one 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 year. One year and then yeah. the education mm -hmm. stopped there. Yes. Which school were you? In Kikope Gigi. Oh, no. When you're not in school, what do you do back here? What are your responsibilities? Sometimes back? when he go I am the one who change my sister diapers mm -hmm. and take care of my siblings. And when uh, when he is here, I'm, I go to to do work and find some money and come help her so that we can take care of our siblings mm -hmm. and take care of our family to grow up. Okay. Yes. Right now that you're here, what is your one wish? What's the one thing you would want to change about this situation? I'd like to go and continue my education mm -hmm. so that one day I can come to wake up them from this background and take them to the high class right. that and I'll be I'll love to be an engineer international engineer mm -hmm. to go to another country to this country to another country mm -hmm. and, and build my mother a very big house like I mentioned by him a car wow. then he will feel proud of me that he has born a very great child Yeah. You know sometimes I sit down and I just wonder why di, why I would not why would I born in this family but I say it's God favor because mm -hmm. God God is God has many choice and maybe he make me to born in this family to help them. Okay. So I'd like to go in a boarding school okay. because when I go to a day 
and I come to home and I see their problems, mm -hmm. they disturb my education. Right. So I want to go to the boarding school. I don't think about the yeah. problems that are in home. So you can concentrate. So I can concentrate with my education mm -hmm. because when I go to day school, I come here and see problems. Sometimes I'm sent here and my education, I cannot I mean, you can't see, focus. You can't focus mm -hmm. with the education. So boarding school is the more perfect it's than better. the day school. So for someone who wants to support you, you would prefer to go to a boarding school. Yes. And you want to study so hard and become an engineer. Yes, an international engineer. An international engineer. Not what are your favorite subjects right now? So it's English because you can see English. I know to speak English. Yes. There's somebody who's like me and you don't know even to say a word like English. Mm. And I love so much, even when I'm alone, mm -hmm. to teach myself how to speak English. You right. know, to be an international engineer, you, know, you, you, you need to know how to speak English. Because you, when you are called by a rich man, you need to talk with him in an English way. Mm -hmm. And that is a good thing. Yeah, so you read and, even by yourself. And the mathematics, construction like that, making, you know, even mathematics help because when you're counting your money, you don't need somebody to count for you. Yeah. Because that's somebody can even rob you. True. You think that that is the money, but you have make a lot of money, but he don't want to tell you. Tell mm. that you have make one million, but you have made many, 20 million like yeah. that. So that is why. That's why you know. want to study hard, yes. so that you can be independent yes. by yourself. Yes. What is the one message you have for your dad? He might watch this video. He's somewhere, you said he's somewhere in Eldoret. Yes. And he knows that he has children. Yes. You know that you have a father, but you don't talk. So what is the one thing you would want him to know from yourself? Just need to tell him, he's my dad. I cannot uh, say that he's not my dad. True. Yes, I love her because even when I achieve, I will not forget her because if he's not him, I will not be here he today standing here, here. Yes. and my siblings will not be there. So I cannot say that. I cannot find her drunk in, and say, this is not my father. I cannot support her. You will when always I'm, be When I'm with a bo big body, mm. have car, I cannot say, this is not my father. See, this is something, it's a rubbish. I cannot talk mm -hmm. her that way. No. I'll talk that a man away and tell her, dad, I've come here today. Please, if I make a long mistake, forgive me. And I have forgive you, Dad, because you are the only Dad I have in this world. True. There's nothing that can undo that. There's uh, there's nothing can do that. Mm. And I can uh, I can give it, and they can come back again with mother, and we can be a big happy, happy family. family. You see, as we we are here, we are a very happy family. You can see there are some big people which are big mention, but their mm -hmm. families they are not happy mm, with their family. Right but as we are family for this day, but we know one day, one time, maybe I will make this family proud of me. Great. And we wish you the very best, even when you go back to school. Yes. Please just focus on your education, because I'm sure you'll go back to school. Yes. Please focus on your education and make your mom proud. Make us proud. Yes. We wish you the very, very best. And we know that when you go back to school and you put all your focus in your education, Yes. We'll come out victorious yes. and we will come back here to celebrate. Do you promise that? Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yes. Is there anything else you wanted to add before we finish? I just want to tell who will sponsor me. He will sponsor me with one heart. And maybe one day I will know who has sponsored me. And I will go to appreciate him more better than he has sponsored me. Mm -hmm. Maybe I will find her and tell you. You are the one who make me here. And I want to take you somewhere to to feel to nice that you. and to appreciate you. Maybe I want to take you far from here, take you to another country mm -hmm. for a tour. You see many things in this world because if it's not for you, if it's not for your money, mm -hmm. I'll not be here just, with my family yeah. and not go to continue with my education. So that's a promise you're making to those sponsors out there. Yes. Perfect. The message will be delivered. Yes, thank we you. We wish you the very, very best. Yes. Of course, we will come back here to celebrate when you pass your exams. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Kuna reason to make a job. Sindio? Kuna kumbuko kiniambia kwa simu. Eh, nilikuambia. Na nikaona mkono wa bwana. Hata sikuamini. Sikuamini. The same God 
ataendelea kusimama na wewe mm -hmm. na ataendelea na wewe mpaka mwisho na usi give up hiyo ndio message yangu kwako mm -hmm. si ndio kabisa uendelee kusimama tu na watoto wako na kushikilia familia yako mm -hmm. despite zile challenges zote unapitia ni kweli tuko family grace has gone through so much in her life that she does not know who to trust anymore and so we are coming to you to plead with you to support this lovely lady with her five children one who is a child living with disability so we are pleading with you to kindly reach out to her through the number that we shall put on the pinned comment support her whichever way you can whether through prayers through advice you can even refer her to hospitals that can treat her daughter without constraints without putting too much pressure on her finances if you have a job and you're looking for someone please reach out to her if you have some money you could spare please reach out to her thank you so much for always standing with our guests and thank you always for being our ardent ardent supporters we thank you for staying with us till the end of the show I have been your host Yvonne Kawira and until next time keep it cool